better than us. Mm. Oh, look who's late with my meal again. Loki, stop this madness right now. Midgard will fall, and I will replant this tree. When that happens, you can either join me or you can be against me. But I assure you it will be too late, for I will have all the power. Only a fool would seek a shattered world. There would be nothing left. For you to rule, I will not allow you to fulfill the destiny of Ragnarok. That was not the answer I'd hoped for, but if you get in the way, so be it. Your magic does not work in my throne room. <laughs> you don't need magic to defeat your own decrepit. Without your staff, you are nothing. Loki, stop this now. What are you afraid that once I release the great wolf, that he will hunt you down and fulfill his destiny by destroying you? There can still be peace. <laughs> Far too long, idly by, mocked and ridiculed by the people, our people, while you sat in that throne doing nothing for our world. I can finish what I started all those years ago. Surrender, <laughs> 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 Loki. 
loyalty, surrender. Thor is on his way, and you have no escape. Surrender? I'm just getting started. Odin. Save your strength. I'll get help. No, nah, no. Loki, Loki is going to Midgard to awaken Fenrir and destroy the tree of the nine realms that will then regrow in Loki's control. Fenrir, Fenrir was imprisoned, never to be set free. The mortals, they don't understand. They don't understand what they, they have released. How do I stop it, Father? You need to find the other half of the bag of amulet. If the two halves are put together, they can destroy the great wolf. You must follow him. You cannot let him succeed. Where do I find the amulet? It was given to a mortal king many years ago. Even I do not know where it resides. You need to find Fenrir's tomb. Father. Father! Father! That's 2.6. What do you think, Grace? 2.6? Uh-huh. Is that earthquake? What earthquake? I need your help. Why do you keep looking at that? <sighs> See this? Yeah, looks like a kite. You think indigenous Native Americans are flying kites? Is this some kind of sporting goods store from 200 years ago? Can you at least pretend you know petroglyphs? Hey, you want a geologist? I'm your guy. You want someone to do a coffee run? Still your guy. You want somebody to do identify indigenous symbols? Not your guy. Clearly. <laughs> and besides, this isn't indigenous Native Americans. What is it? This is the symbol of Fenrir, the great wolf. He was a god with the power to destroy Odin. Odin? Like Thor? Like, like that Odin? Yep. 
And legend has it that Fenrir was so mean and uncontrolled that he tried to start the end of times. If he were to fulfill his prophecy, then he would destroy the Nine Realms and kill Odin and his wife, Frigg. Well, what happened to Fenrir? They captured him and imprisoned him for all eternity. Let's hope he doesn't escape. Grace. Hey, Adrian. Grace here just discovered Valhalla and the end of the world. It's pretty cool, right? Dr. Sagius wants us to hold off. Why? Well, he's worried that we're experiencing foreshock, leading up to one big quake. No, he... Tell Dr. Sagius, you don't know if a foreshock is a foreshock unless it's preceded by a bigger quake. And the main event may not happen for, for months. Look, let me just call him. I'll talk to him. And no, make it's sure more than that. What do you mean? It's a cluster of quakes, and they've been happening at the same time and apparently around the whole world. No, there, you can't have two quakes at once, let alone a cluster of them. Look, look, let me get online, and I'll check the USGS, and I'll look at their seismographs, okay? Okay. Adrian, look. Migration period. Yeah. Vikings. I can see that. It's easily over a thousand years old. <laughs> Adrian, this is everything. We can prove that Vikings traveled across North America all the way to California, way before anyone ever thought. It could be a plunder, you know, a souvenir from battle. I mean, Vikings were already in New Finland by this time. That's fine, but uh, look closely at these rocks. I see petroglyphs with other symbols, all Norse. This makes no sense. Adrian, this is a Viking tomb, and we just have to get inside. There's no record of Vikings making it this far west. I know. This is like when, when Cope and Marsh discovered huge dinosaur bones in the United States in the 1800s. No one knew they could make it this far. Sorry, I, I can't open it until we get the all clear. We're so close. We just have to open this tomb. I'll go inside. I'll see inside for just a okay. moment. I'll get a site survey out here in a week. I can get it certified in less than two weeks. Two weeks makes no difference for a team that's been here for a thousand years. Look, I'll get my team here to secure the site so Dr. Sagius is more comfortable. Okay, uh, and then we'll have this turn around in the week. Everyone okay? It opened by itself. Give me the rocks off. Help. I'll talk to Dr. Sagius. Hi, yes, I need to speak to Dr. Sagius now. It's Adrian at the site. Flashlight? It's 30,000 lumens. What's that beeping? That's me. Hydrogen levels are really high. Dangerous? Probably happen when the door open. Yeah, when hydrogen meets oxygen, it's pretty explosive. Yeah, it also makes water. Yeah. Nick, you won't believe what just happened. much in here. Maybe we're not the first to open it. No. Viking tombs are not like Egyptian tombs. Very basic. I'm surprised it has petroglyphs. Must have been someone special. There's something. I don't see a body. Vikings were usually cremated. So this isn't a tomb? I don't know. Uh, could be a shrine. Well, what did the symbol say? Don't worry. Just talk to Dr. Sagius. He doesn't want us in here. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me right he now. He wants to send a structural engineer out here to make sure it's safe. Okay. Okay. Come on, Grace. Got it. Grace, come on. Yeah. <sighs> 
Definitely Norse. I see more of the wolf hieroglyphs. Than rare? Yes, but I see some Native American symbols too, like early Tongva symbols. So this tomb was a joint venture between indigenous tribes and the Vikings? <sighs> Taking a guess, but maybe both groups built this because they both had a vested interest. In building a Viking tomb. Why would the Tongva tribes do that? Respect. Or fear. Look at these symbols. That's a Valknut, symbol of death. That's Idrisil, tree of the nine realms. That's Tongva for bad spirit. That's sun. Maybe it's not a tomb. Or maybe it's something else. Like what? Anything. A passageway, a room, a shrine, a prison. For the wolf god that wants to eat the sun and destroy the nine realms. Stop. Two cultures teaming together to build a prison. Why? I don't think so. Excuse me. Sir, do not touch me. This is a secure area. We need to see some ID. Some ID? What is ID? Do you not know who I am? Sir, you could be Abraham Lincoln walking in here with John Wilkes Booth and I'd still need ID. Clearly must be some friends of yours. You're not in charge, are you? ID. Enough with the ID. Who's in charge? That'd be Dr. Nick Sagius, executive director at the Odenkar Museum. That guy. Dr. Sagius. Handsome fella. May I go in? I need to call this in. No, you don't. No, I don't. Good afternoon, Dr. Sagius. It's great to see you. Would you like me to get the team and meet you at the site? Won't be necessary. All right. Sounds good. Far too long, my friend. I know what you're going through. The wait is over. I can't believe I missed that. What? That's Thulite. That's why it has that pink tent to it. Thulite? Yeah, it's Norwegian. Those are huge rocks. What are they doing here? Would they travel across a country with tons of Thulite? You can't find Thulite in California. Not a thousand years ago. I mean, they found something similar to Sears Lake, but deep. Really deep. You'd need 19th century engineering to extract it. Hey, Dr. Choi. Good morning, Harold. Did Saggy say he was coming in today? No. I just spoke to him on the phone. Why? I'm pretty sure he's here. What? I think he's in the tomb. Well, did you authorize the explosives? Why would I do that? Harold, call 911. Nick? Hello? Grace, I think the room got bigger. Another door opened. 
Nick! Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of hydrogen. We should wait outside. Listen, my guess is this time there was a volatile chemical reaction. Another door? Who cares? Let's go. We're looking for Nick. No, this is a volatile site that just exploded and possibly killed someone. We need to go. He could be hurt. Dr. Choi? First responders are on their way, but they got questions because it's a dig site. Hello? Patrick, let's go. Patrick? Patrick! Patrick? Patrick! Adrian! Patrick, let's go. Wait, wait. It's Dr. Segius. It's okay, Dr. Sagius. You're at the dig site. There was an explosion. Nick, it's me. Adrian, Flynn. Are you, are you hurt? Are you okay? I don't want your help, okay? Oh. You found him. Yeah, he's just a little stunned. All right, everybody, it's not safe here. We gotta get everybody out. Sir, Dr. Sagius, I'm going to lead you to the surface, all right? Stay away from me. All of you! Nick, it's me. Grace. I do not require your assistance at this time. Why are you here, Nick? I came to visit the prison of Fenrir myself. How did you know this was the prison of Fenrir? We need to go outside. This room is too unstable. We need to leave. That's fine. I'll go with uh, Patrick here. You all leave. Okay. You got him? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just... Yeah. Come on. Uh uh. Did Nick seem off to you? No one said anything about him showing up to the site. He's like that. Yeah, but you just talked to him. I talked to him on the phone. He could have been on his way to the site. Right. Look, Nick is eccentric. Could have been stunned from the blast. Did you notice he's not limping? He always has a cane. I mean, we should have heard him or at least seen him. How do he sneak past us? I'm gonna make a few calls. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but it doesn't feel right. I'm gonna go back. What? I was just wondering if you were worth saving. Uh, excuse me? I thought you wanted me to help you out of here, Dr. Segeus. Then help. Your security, this is Greg. How can I help you? Yes, hi, I'm Grace Troy. I'm one of the archeologists working with Sagius. I was wondering if I could speak with him. I'm afraid Dr. Sagius is in a meeting. You have to call back later. He's in a meeting? Did he go to the site? Oh, I just buzzed in his lunch about 10 minutes ago. He's been in a museum all day. Uh, OK, uh, thanks. Of course. Is there anything else I can help with? Is there anything wrong? Could you have him call me when he's done? Tell him it's important. Certainly. I'll have him call you back at once. Thanks, Greg. Harold? Yeah. Toss me a radio. <clears throat> Patrick. Quinn? Come in, over. Can anyone hear me? Over. Come on. Follow me. Sentry Station. Guards? For what? Fenrir. Stop! I'm sorry, but there are 
procedures for stuff like this. I'm sorry? You can't just take things from an excavation site. We have to log it. But more importantly, we have to get out of here now. I guess it is. Open the urn. Nick! Now open the urn. Much better. Thank you, Doctor. Without your assistance, I would have never been able to retrieve the Great Wolf's Fang. You can't remove that. I don't understand. Who are you? <laughs> Where are my men? Why, I'm Loki. Get away from him! That's not Nick. That's the guy. That's the guy that got past me. What do you want? It's rightfully mine, of course. He's controlling Patrick somehow. Grace, you gotta get out of here. What have you done to Patrick? Well, unfortunately, Odin made it so that a god was unable to unearth the Great Wolf. So, I needed a mortal. And the good doctor here was willing and and now that I have the fang, there's just one more thing to do. You heard him save yourself! Go! I was wondering when you'd show up, Thor. Looks like you're not as good at hiding your whereabouts as you think. You will pay for your crimes against Asgard. Crimes? What crimes? Liberating this planet? Freeing the mortals? I believe you're the one committing the crime, Thor. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm, uh, Grace 
I'm Dr. Grace Choi. I'm site manager at this excavation. Um, that's Loki, so you must be Thor. You know of my name? Oh. How? Well, um, the hammer. Mjolnir. You know of it. Norse mythology is my specialty. Well, not mythology, I guess. You've studied us. And you may know where Loki is. You can help me. Um, maybe? The fate of your world depends upon it. And your knowledge of us. Well, when you put it like that, Come with me. Okay. The thing is in rear. Do not touch that. Wait, what happened to the markings on your face? War paint of the gods. It manifests in battle. That's Idrisil, the Tree of Nine Realms. You know of it? Yeah. Basically, each branch holds a part of the universe. Earth is part of it. This is what Loki is after. He seeks to destroy the tree and plant a new one that he can control. And that's why he needs Fenrir? Loki can destroy the tree. But attacking each realm, that will be difficult. Fenrir will grow stronger and bigger, and he will devour the realm. Where's the tree? My father said it's nearby. Fenrir was imprisoned, and he got too close to it. The gods stop Fenrir. We are just mortals. No one is asking you to do this. I will take on this challenge myself. No, we can't let Pyter die. Your friend is right. Fenrir grows more powerful. And your friend, it will disappear forever. We can stop them. <laughs> this is what I like about your kind. The odds are against you, yet you choose to fight for one another. Uh, can we fight then? No. Just tell me where they are, and I will fight them on my own. No. You want my help? Then I'm going with you. Me too. Stubborn, foolish, but full of heart. Fine. We will travel together. So where are we going? Loki has awakened Fenrir with the Varga Remnant. But he only has one half. If we find the other half before he realizes his mistake, we have a chance of stopping Fenrir from devouring the tree. So we have to locate the other half of the amulet. Indeed. <gasps> Sagius! What is this? Not a what. Who? Dr. Nicholas Sagius. If anyone knows where to locate the second half of the amulet, he does. <gasps> that is Fenrir. He grows more powerful by the moment. If we do not stop Loki, Fenrir will be unstoppable. This hammer is amazing. No one can wield Monier. Unless they are worthy. Of course. This is a most impressive form of transportation. Have you been able to research the Huggies at all? Mm -hmm. oh, our knowledge of you mortals is flawed. What do you mean? <laughs> well, the last time your paths crossed, you had swords and ships. 
When was the last time you were on Earth exactly? Long before your time. <sighs> we humans have come a long way. I will open this door. Sorry. Angel? That side is waiting for you. Come on in. So is this a cosplay thing? What? The guy in the costume. No. I am Thor of Asgard, son of Odin. Of course you are. Uh, that's Thaddeus. Oh, hey. So is this, uh, Thor, our Norse god? The one and only. I know it sounds... No, no, no. Va'er Hansington Dinar. Mel Metiego, Gungarga, Gungarga, Loki, Stoff, and Eventer, Gungaria. Vilken Kraft Arvasir. Wisdom. The end of days. Ir in Sedkins of Handeser Rirfet Tilsom Va. Ragnarok. And? <laughs> so he knows the the ancient tongue. That doesn't that doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> So we store. Got it. We are wasting time. Do you know where the other half of the amulet is? I assume Patrick is the human host for Fenrir, the wolf. No? How did you? Well, he's not here. You would have said something if if he died, right? Because Fenrir needs a, a human host, correct? becoming more frequent. Fenrir grows more powerful. As I said on the phone in the van, this is why we need the second piece to the amulet of Varger. The full amulet is the only thing that can stop Fenrir and prevent Loki from destroying the world. So you know what it is? Come with me. That is a burial boat. Not meant for battle? Meant for travel to Valhalla. We should not have taken this from their tomb. Uh, we study it, learn from it. You have cursed yourselves by disturbing the dead. What are those statues? Jormungandr. World serpents. We well, almost lost them in the quake earlier. We secured them as you guys arrived. Those were one of the crown jewels of the exhibit. Yarmungandr is a child of Loki. 
Why do you have this cursed thing here? And extremely valuable, this stuff. We're here for the amulet. Let's just get it to you so we can leave. Great. Right here. The amulet. Beautiful. When we put these halves together, we will stop Fenrir. Now how do we find Loki? Oh my god. I have to go home. I have to find my boyfriend. Is this even possible? Australia and New Zealand? <laughs> the tsunami is heading here. The earth will quake. The floods will come. The end is near. We need to get to higher elevation. I have to go. I, I, I have to... Hey, to have... hey, you need to stay with us. We'll leave together. It may be too late. Ragnarok has begun. Fenrir, why do you hurt? I don't understand. You, sh you should not feel pain. You can. What am I missing? I kill you. And yet, you stand before me. No. No, no it's, it's just an illusion. Maybe my time in Valhalla was not yet. Maybe you're scared. You were scared, that's why you came back. No. I came back to warn you. Stop this foolishness. This trick of yours will backfire. The prophecy has been foretold. I will start the end of days. You will be dead before you find the other half of the amulet. the other half you would have figured this out eventually but I have a deal for you stop this right now and come sit beside me and we shall rule together You must think I'm mad. No, no, no. The end of days has been foretold. I will win. I will destroy the Nine Realms. And Fenrir will hunt you down in the halls of Asgard. And eat your heart out. Oh, glorious I win! <laughs> <laughs>
Come, Fenrir. We must find the other half of the inlet. Now! <sighs> Grab whatever you can. Wait here. Loki is coming. We have 15 minutes before. This whole building will be underwater. Please, just grab what you can and let's get in my car. Loki is coming here. No offense, but you are immortal. We are not. We need to leave. You have something that belongs to me. You are playing a dangerous game. We need to leave. Give me the amulet, and I promise your deaths will be quick and painless. Gonna do anything against those animated sentries? I don't think we have any other choice. <laughs> He possesses both halves of the amulet. Fenrir will be unstoppable now. I'm sorry, Nick. But we have to go. The tsunami will be here any minute. If we stay here, we're going to die. We'll figure out another way as we get to higher elevation. <laughs> I could not save her.
We lost her. We lost her. We lost Adrian. We, we lost Adrian. We lost Greg. We, we lost him. It's okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't get him back. If we can still find the, the amulet, can you save us? Is, is it too late? It is never too late to give up hope. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We can't bury this. We can't. We can't bring him back. Okay? Odin. Father, bring your daughter home. While she waits for the final choice. Has she earned her place? Or in darkness, Rome? suffering and almost extinction but we survived plagues famine drought everything but you know what we survived and we will survive this too we've got to hold on we have got to make something of all of this Absolutely. Good. Nick, we need to find the laptop. I know. Did you find it? No. Something better. It's a valk nut. The symbol of Odin. <sighs> Your star. The catalyst can open a portal for communication. What? What about up here? Connection, power, things like that. Oh, surely that Loki had taken you from us. <laughs> How death was not to be. <laughs> Mighty Odin. <laughs> you can come. You can come to Earth and help us. We need you. I can't. I am too weak. I'm amazed at this connection. There should be no connection between the realms with me in this shape. Yes, well, the mortals, they have the fulfillment relic now. <sighs> a relic from a... A time long forgotten. Yes. Yes, indeed. And Loki. What of him? Fenrir is awakened, and Loki has both halves of the emblem. The earthquakes here. A shade in this planet to its core, and the flooding is wreaking havoc everywhere. As Loki approached the tree of the Nine. I'm unsure. And time is not on your side, my son. You must kill the beast before it gets strong enough to devour the realm straight from the tree. I feel this is too much to ask of them. Hmm? Yes. Mortals. Mortals have been accompanying me on this, and they've been valiant in their efforts to help. Huh? Help is so good. Listen, if you cannot reclaim the amulet, there is only one other way you can destroy.
memory. That which can create may also destroy. Oh, the connection. We, 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 we need to know, know where, where is Loki, where is he? The Vogelet. It is not strong enough to keep the connection. Where, where are they? Loki is with Fenrir in Vigrid, the fields of battle. There exists a bridge between worlds. It, it's a cave. There, you will find Yggdrasil. Father. Father. Father, please don't go. We need you. I need you, Father, please. Please, Father. My father, he's alive. My father's alive. It's good, right? Yes, yes, there's still hope. We can find Loki and Fenrir and defeat them. But so he's sending help. No, he's far too weak for that. He must regain his strength first. We can't wait. We have a plan. I will find Loki. Where is he? Did your father tell you? Yes, yes he did. He's near Fenrir's tomb. There's a cave. Yes, I know uh, where we did our site survey. It's a few miles east of the dig in the Sequoias. It's by Boyden Cavern. It's very deep. The structure's gonna collapse. We'll survive. We won't. We have to get off the roof. I understand that. But Main Street is under the Pacific Ocean right now. This is our safest place right here. I will go find Loki, and I will come back for you too. Maybe I can get one of the benefactor's helicopters, but even if I can get one, it'll have to be far enough away from this water. Wait. Of course. What? Your idea. What idea? The water. The what? I can't swim with Who this said leg. Who anything right? about swimming? Why did you leave Earth? I never left Earth. I just was not needed. But you're needed now. To protect the Nine Realms. Yes. Why does saving us mean so much to you? Your world is a part of the Nine Realms. And I am the protector of the Nine Realms. <laughs> My grandfather, he created this world. He gave his life for it. His flesh and blood made the mountains and the sea. My father, Odin, he was a caretaker. This is where I met my beloved, you see. Ah, the golden-haired goddess. Where is she now? I was going with my father. Wait, can you see that? There, see? The ravens. Hongen, uh, Mongen. <laughs> Odin's messengers. He only answered to him. He said he would try to send help if he could. We need to follow them. You sure? I'm certain. He must have known where Loki is. Is he sending any more help? I think we're gonna need all the help we can get. I do not know. Sending his ravens may have spent what little power he has left. But he knows how valuable this world is. And it cannot fall. We need to dock the ship and start climbing. We may get more waves with this tsunami. What choice do we have? You panic? 
Good, good. Just keep going. What's Asgard like? Much like this one. It's a wonderful thing. The planet is beautiful and spectacular. Yet Loki wants to destroy it. Loki does not see Earth the way I see it. He sees Earth as power and control. In the stories I was told, Loki was a trickster, a rabble rouser, not someone who wanted to destroy the realms. <laughs> See, he controls the realms, but in reality, he just wants a playground for his dark fallacies. Loki's not happy unless he is tricking and deceiving others. He will not be happy when he realizes he's only fooling himself. <sighs> Let's hope he never gets there. Unfortunately, it is preordained. Fenrir will grow and he will devour the tree. Loki will kill my father, Odin. I thought you said that... He is destined for these things. But you're here. You're here to stop it, right? Yes. But you said it was preordained. Loki wins. Every story has a writer. Every story has a predestined enemy. But not every writer is the same. Not every story is the same. So there's a chance Loki's story doesn't end the way he wants it to. Now you are getting it. Hey, Doctor. Fine. We can come back for you. No. Come on. Okay. You can get on my back. Uh, no. I'm okay. Thanks. Nonsense. Hello. Hello. Hey, here we go. Yeah. All right. Thor is carrying you on his back. That's what we're doing. Uh, yep. Uh. Thank you. You're very welcome, friend. The ravens are saying Loki is this way. I don't see another entrance. Is there another way in? Well, I need to, I need to speak to you for a minute. Really? Now? You're... Yeah, yeah, right now. We're out of our league here. We're gonna help. No, we're playing with the gods and their games. We're just mortals. I understand. No, you don't. Uh, Loki's dangerous enough on his own. But Fenrir, this wolf, it's a whole nother thing. We have Thor. Rang a rock. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's not 100%. Close enough. That's enough for me to try. As my old mentor used to tell me, we have to make this matter. Wait. Loki is in there. I can sense it. Move away. <laughs> Stay with me. I can see the way. There's no shame. You've gotten this far. No. Now let's go kick some Norse gods' ass, shall we? Tree of Nine Realms. The Tree of Nine Realms is very powerful. Loki will need all his magic and tricks to destroy it. And once he destroys it? He will plant a new one. One that he can control. And then he will control all the realms in the universe. How do we stop this? You 
don't. You're too late. Fenrir, kill them. Go, Fen. Come on, Thor. He's a god, don't you? We can get hurt. We have to find him. <coughs> uh, 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 the, the, the rocks are loose. I, I think we have a way out. We have to hurry. Okay, let's go. Nasty, though. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. I do not need my lightning. I can defeat you with my armor. And <sighs> Since mortals you cannot win, it's over. I have the complete amulet, the control of the nine realms, and the great wolf is mine once again. If you don't mind, I have a tree to plant. My son, awake. Where am I? What is this place? You don't recognize your home? My home. My home. This is one of many possibilities, but only one can be real. That is up to you, what you decide. They're unstoppable, Father. Father, what more can I do that I've not already done? The floods. The floods have nearly consumed the earth. And the tree is almost dead because of my failure. They may be near, but the earth is not lost. Why do you consider defeat when the earthlings fight on? They may have their problems, but when they're faced 
with death, they rush in, head on. They will die for the right cause, without worry. We could learn a lot from them. You are Thor of Asgard, son of Odin, a great, great warrior. Thunder and the lightning beckon at your call. My power no longer answers to me. Your power has not left you, my son. It is just being corrupted by Fenrir's bite. I am not strong enough without it. You don't need to defeat Loki. Ragnarok lies down with the beast. It always has. That beast has no weakness! Everything has a weakness, my son. I would not have entrusted you with this task if I did not think that you could do it. Remember who you are and remember what you have. I cannot do this without your strength, Father. It is impossible. My strength has and always will be with you. Wait, Father, please don't go. Please, please don't go, Father. Please wait, Father. It's all right, my son. You only have a short way to go. The Earth needs you. Your friends, they need you. They fight on, but they cannot defeat Loki. They need Thor. The God of Thunder. Stands, brother. <laughs> you have not won. You still mock me. <laughs> I may have lost the realms, but I will have vengeance. I will kill you once and for all. <laughs> you could not kill Odin, brother. You will not kill me. Odin is gone. Odin is dead. Odin is but an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid brother. How do you think we found this place? You were weakened. Odin has managed to defeat you. Even with your planning and your power. Careful. And you have failed. Because... That's your destiny, brother. You will always fail! As long as there is someone to oppose you. <laughs> no. No. No! 
of you. Nonsense. Please stop, brother. Please. So what? I can rot you in prison for your work. I spot it. Stop. Stop. No, never again. Never. No this in here, brother. <laughs> It is over. Come. Oh, that hammer of yours. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> you are a true warrior, Grace. Only the worthy can wield them near. Nick! Nick! <gasps> it's over. We stopped Ragnarok. So what now? I thought you killed Fenrir! Patrick! <gasps> to get him out of here. He needs a doctor. Oh, yeah, good to see you. <laughs> is Earth okay? It is. It is for now. That's a good sign. Good sign indeed. They call me home. To Asgard. Will we see you again? If you need me, I will return. Your world is under my protection. Did you mean what you said? About Adrian and Dragon Valhalla? Yes. Your friends will be celebrated amongst the gods. You have my word. Still a mess. A lot of lives were lost here today. Yes, there were. And I am sorry for your losses. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All of you. You're so brave. It is time. Stand back. Okay. So we met a god today. It's about my pay grade. Man, that guy's awesome. Yeah, he is.
father. Rise, my son. Rise. And what of your brother, Loki? Father, he is... He is dead. He left me no choice. He would not yield. If I had not stopped him, he would have destroyed the Nine Realms. I should have known. He was a fool. But he was my brother, and I loved him dearly. Still, he did something good. The Earthlings are a resilient people. In times of crisis, they come together to help their fellow man. Thanks to you, they have a chance to rebuild. The Earthlings and Asgard will forever be in your debt. Oh, Father, I... I did not have the heart to tell the mortals, but... Fenrir still lives in this amulet. His soul... forever. Asgard, my son. Yes, brother. <laughs> 